This is a video on how the testing center works, how to get into it, take the test, and print the um, certificate. So we're going to go to our webpage, www.nationalhouseofhope.org, and wait for the webpage to come up. Once our homepage comes up on our website, you're going to want to come over here to Counseling Resources, click on that, go down to Testing Center, click on that, and then once we are in the Testing Center, you're going to click here to enter the Testing Center. Now let me, there, click there. And this is the first page that will come up, the Nash, Welcome to National House of Hope Testing Center Counseling Certification. Here, you're going to put in your email address, and it's going to be that for me, and the access code that is on the back inside cover of your book. And those are case sensitive, and so my access code for this is E-N-A. C and then I'm going to log in and then we'll go to step two here you're going to put your first and last name Colin and remember once you do this this access code is going to be unique for you and you only um, so don't let anybody else come into the to the testing center using your name and access code because once you go through the 14 test then that access code is no longer any good you'll have to um, each person needs their own access code if they're going to be if they're going to receive a certificate at the end of the of the course so we're going to put in our first and last name and um, hit submit and we come to step three, terms and conditions. This is, this is the, well, there's two important ones. All tests must be taken in the order which they are presented in the testing area. Um, you, you have to take them in numerical order. You cannot skip the test. And in the event that you fail a test, you have one other opportunity to retake the test. So you get two chances on each test. You have to make a 70 or better to pass. And if by chance you do fail both times, you are automatically kicked out of the testing center. And you have to either not be certified or call us and buy another book in order to get another access code. Um, I don't think you'll have any problems passing the test, uh, especially if you're watching the videos and going through the workbook. So once you've, once you've read all this and understand all these things, you're going to accept it and then click accept and that'll take us to the next area. And here we are, step four, begin testing. You'll notice that all of the tests are here in the same order they are in the revised study guide. Um, and again, they have to be taken in this order, one through 14. And you'll come into this section and you'll see right here where it says attempt one, take. You're gonna click on take and that's gonna bring up the test. So we're gonna click on take and show you how the test will come up. There we go. And once you've gone through the test, you'll see your grade here for the first test, and then it automatically goes down to the second test and, and, that, and says take, and you'll click on that as well. Now keep in mind that each test is 10 questions, and they're either true, false, or multiple choice. It is not a time test. You have all the time in the world to take it. In, if by chance um, there's a power failure or the internet goes down or it's just something happens um, and, and you lose connection, when you, pull up, when you come back into the testing center, you'll be able to go back and, and take that test and the answers that you, the questions that you've answered should have been saved. So uh, just remember that. Don't panic. Um, open note, open book. Um, shouldn't have any problem taking the test. And so You'll attempt one, you made 100% on test one, and it's time to take the second one, and you'll go on and on. And now I'll show you what happens 
if you fail it, what that looks like. So we're going to take number two. Okay, so here's what it looks like if you fail attempt one. The word take automatically comes up in attempt two, and you will get a second attempt to take the test. Okay, so here's what we've got. On attempt two, we made a 90 and passed it, and it automatically goes over to attempt one. And you'll do that for the rest of them all the way down through test 14. Um, okay, we're going to fast forward to where all of the tests have been taken, and yours should look very similar to this. Um, well, actually, it should look just like this. You go attempt one all the way down. Every test has been passed satisfactorily. Okay. Once you've submitted that last test for grading, it appears right here, you're going to notice this green area it says, Congratulations, you have passed all the tests and can download your certificate by clicking here. The word here is highlighted in blue. And at this point, you're just going to click. And once you have clicked on the word here, it will download the certificate. And you are now officially a Certified of Hope Counseling and this certificate will look like it as you typed it in the um, first start of the process the day here signed by Sarah and Jane the logo on it there's the process counseling taking all the test if you have please feel free to contact me and I will get back with you with just as soon as possible you have my email and my telephone and either one it will be work thanks and enjoy